Right in front of the idol of Shiva is the image of Nandi, the bull. You are told that the sacred bull is the vehicle, Vahana, of Shiva, and that is the reason for its being there. But, really speaking, the bull, Pashu, represents the individual, Jiva, while the Lingam is the symbol of Shiva. No one should pass between the bull and the Lingam, the individual and the Shiva, it is said, for they are to merge in one. Shiva has to be seen through the two horns of Nandi, they say. When asked the reason for this procedure, people reply, well, it is holier than other methods of viewing the Lingam. But the inner meaning is, you must see the Shiva in the individual. The bull Pashu and Shiva, Pashupati, are one. Nandi and God, Ishwara, become the Lord of individuals, Nandishwara. Both are only two ways of referring to the same entity. When in bondage, it is Nandi. When the bound becomes free and union with God is achieved, it is God. It is worshipped and is entitled to be so honored. The true sacrifice, Yajna, occurs when the bull, Pashu, is offered to the Lord of Animals, Pashupati, and its separate identity is cast away. The significance has now been forgotten.